Egypt has always been on my travel list for the same reason that everybody wants to come to Egypt. Like <laughs> Egypt has an intriguing history. And I know most people like this, I know I'm, I'm speaking, you know, for my friends and then the people I've come in contact with. People want to come and see Egypt. I got here and I arrived in Cairo. Um, once I got to Cairo, I obtained a visa on arrival. Uh, I paid $25. It's a very easy process. Once you land, there is a, a counter that, you know, I think it has a word bank. It says, okay, it's the bank. So you just go, you pay $25 in cash and they would give you the um, sticker. Hello. Now I was able to, like I said, I obtained, um, I was able to obtain the visa um, because I had, um, um, a substituted visa, you know, a US visa, UK visa, Schengen visa, you could use any of, you know, these um, visas. So um, I arrived and then I, leaving the airport, I actually booked a pickup from, uh, I booked through my hotel. Even if you're, you don't, you're not able to do that through your hotel, once you land, there are car rentals within the um, um, arrival um, terminal. So I would, because I went out and I saw the chaos that was outside, I would advise you to book um, within, if you want to feel, you would just pay more, you know, but you book um, the taxi just within the arrival hall, you would pay a lot more because those ones are actually registered companies and then you can actually see, um, they would you know, give you a receipt and all that. So if you think you're going to be afraid, you want to be safe, book with, you know, book for a taxi, you'll find taxi stands within the arrival hall. But of course, if you can handle it, you can go out there and haggle. <laughs> you can go out there and haggle and then pay whatever you think you're comfortable with. I think um, it was about $25. I was staying close to the pyramids because I, I had read a lot about the traffic in Cairo, so I wanted to, um, and I was just going to stay two days in Cairo. So I wanted to stay where I would be able to do everything I wanted to do. And the first thing I did the next morning, you know, I went and I explored um, the pyramids. You can see the big guy right there. <laughs> well, you can see like, this is why we all come to Egypt. Isn't it so? This is the reason why I came to Egypt. So, um, you can see um, the landscape. This is Egypt. Remind you of like ancient Egypt. The pyramid wasn't the same as it is. Now, now, if you look over there, the pyramid, the other one here, you still have the top of it. The cap of it's still in a good intact. Oh. That's tell us that so all the pyramids. To the other part? Yes. What happened to the other part? The I mean, during the time of the Mamluks, Mamluks were kind of mercenaries who were in Egypt for some kind of like 400 years. Mm -hmm. They were starting to strip thing, stripping the. the To the left. Okay, watch for me. And the guy just come close to you and just like once you close to the horse, and then once you close to the horse, and take a picture with the horse, and then he climb and ask you for it. Allah barik lak, Habib. Is it almost here? Can we get water? We go all the way down. Again? Oh. All right. So I'm here at the pyramid. And it's really hot. Like, don't come here in August. It's very. <laughs> Thank you for it's, it's uh, bringing terrible. a lot of tourists. <laughs> so that's my guy. Say hi. Hi. 
<laughs> I'm really having a great time with you, Otto. <laughs> so that's really yes, sir. Great time. <laughs> you know. That doesn't sound like it. Stop it. I'm really enjoying it. <laughs> you have no idea! <laughs> Don't mind him, so... Oh my god, there's a tall bus behind me. So we just finished that, sorry. There, it's a long walk, so we have a ride. We're just gonna get the ride soon. Come and um, pick us up here so we can go to the thing. Is it Spinks or Spinks? Spinks. 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 <laughs> so we're gonna take the me. car. You wanna walk all the way ride. down to Spinks or you wanna pick the car? We're picking the car. We're this it's, is our guy. Yeah. Because I was, I was thinking that because it's all the way down. Up to you. You want to walk? I don't want to walk. I'm okay. tired. The sun is hot. Oh, I can't even get water. So we're going to get in the car. I'm sure you might. That's not going to happen. I went to the um, Egyptian Museum, you know, I think um, just to fulfill our righteousness, you need to see it, you know, just because it has, um, it's rich in terms of um, some of the ancient um, um, discoveries that they made, they're well preserved. So I recommend that you <laughs> go to the Egyptian Museum. So that is my ticket. I paid 200 um, Egyptian pounds. So you want to know where to stay. It's, you can connect the city um, depending on what your interest is. You can, it's a huge city. So you just find an accommodation. I use booking.com. And then moving around the city, it, the, the, they have Uber. So moving around, it's really easy. And also you can, like I said, you, you can also book a car hire from your hotel, but it's cheaper to use an Uber. So I would recommend when you come here, you do get a SIM. They do have, I think, um, I got a Vodafone um, SIM card. I think I saw it is a lot as well. So get a SIM card, you know, so you can have access to data where you could use um, Uber, which is relatively cheap cheaper compared to maybe like getting a car hire from your hotel so moving on is easy but you know most times you have to really plan your activities depending on where you're going because you know traffic is you know <laughs> particularly in cairo you know it's an arabic country and predominantly um muslim so arabic is like the official language but um you will meet a few people who would um, speak English because, you know, they deal with a lot of um, tourists and, you know, so, uh, you know, you would deal, you would meet um, people who actually um, speak English, you know, but Arabic is the official language. Another thing you probably would, I know most people are concerned, particularly ladies, is when they visit um, Egypt that um, how do they dress since maybe it's a Muslim country and they're a bit more uh, conservative. Like, yes, in majors, in cities like maybe Cairo and Luxor, you do want to cover up, you know, like... Um, it doesn't mean you have to wear a robe, but you know, you would like, you see what I'm wearing right now, you know, my chest is not <laughs> showing, you know, I have you know, a bit of sleeves and then whatever I'm wearing, I just make sure it's like knee length, you know, this is a bit maybe shorter, but um, you see what I wore right now, so <laughs> just look the way you would look if you were going to see your mother-in-law for the first time you were going to meet the family for the first time <laughs> so plan your outfit if you're going to do like a you were going to see your boyfriend's parents for the first time you know dress like that when you come to egypt <laughs> so now should you travel alone to egypt of course yes it is a destination that you can travel solo, even when you are a woman, you know, like I've been traveling here for five days now, five days, yes, five days now, 
and I'm a woman, you know, you just need to, um, you would know what you feel comfortable, um, just deal with what you feel um, comfortable to do. But it's, Egypt is absolutely safe for a solo female traveler, <laughs> you know, you just need to practice common sense, you know, and just do what feels safe. And like I always say, you have your instincts there. For a reason use it if something doesn't feel right it's probably not right but it's absolutely okay for you to travel alone as a woman in egypt so come and explore and then maybe you're wondering like where is she <laughs> i'm currently in sham el sheikh and it's just a beautiful um resort um town um just by the red sea so you know how everyone wants to come to Egypt for the same reason. It is very beautiful. Yes, I say come, but spend time in um, Cairo just because there's so much um, history you need to explore. But also take some time for a holiday, you know, in Sharm El Sheikh. It's really, really nice. You know, I've been here for a couple of days and I'm loving it. The weather is good. I got a hotel just by the beach. There are lots of water spots to explore. I've done the parasailing. It was the first time I did scuba diving. Like scuba diving in the Red Sea is a big deal. Like it's an abnormality if you come here and you don't do that. So it's very beautiful. And then I'm going to show you. Thank you and let me know if you have any questions or comments, leave your comments here. Have a good day.